nodes represent chunks of source documents whether that is a text chunk or an image or even anything else they also contain metadata and relationships information with other nodes and index structures you may also choose to pass source documents into nodes through our node parser classes you can also learn more about this nodes in this official documentation of lama index so if you come here you will see documents or nodes and first the information is about document a document is a generic container around any data source for instance a pdf an api output or retrieve data from a database so it says that document could be anything a pdf file api text file or any other file and nodes represents a chunk of a source document so whatever document you load it can create node out of it and nodes are nothing but chunks of a source document whether that is a text chunk an image or other uh, let's see how we can create nodes out of document so first of all import from llama index dot core import simple directory reader because first we are going to read a text file i will write here simple directory reader and then i will make an object a document and then i will call this simple directory reader inside this my first parameter is going to be input files inside this i will pass my text file name which is paul underscore sa dot text and then i will close this and then i will call the method load underscore data this method will actually create your text file as a document i will write here load underscore data and then i can print this documents here so now here in the output you can see that we have our uh, document our text file loaded as a document and we have some information and what information we have is we have document id embeddings then this is the metadata file path file name file type and so on so this is the meta information to create nodes we will use sentence splitter i will call here from llama index dot core dot node parser import sentence splitter so to create nodes in llama index there are different methods and one of them is sentence splitter then i will create an object parser and i will call this sentence splitter inside this my first parameter is going to be chunk size and i will define the chunk size as 512 and then chunk overlap it is going to be 20 you can take other number as well and then i will create nodes i will call this parser object and from this i will call method get nodes from documents so here we are creating nodes out of this document using this method get nodes from documents and inside this i will pass documents here the document object and then let us execute our code and then we will print nodes so we got a nodes here if you see here we have this text node its id embedding and then we have metadata information the information that you see here is exactly same as what we have seen for documents if you go above and you see we have the same information id embedding metadata and so on so this entire information or this one information is for the entire document but now when you create nodes so these are chunks now this is not a 
not an entire text but these are divided into different chunks where each chunk will have its own id and metadata information so you see when i write here notes it is printing entire notes here but now we can access notes one by one and whenever you see text note id and so on so you will see that this is nothing but a new node so you see one here text note id is this and if i scroll up and if you see the id this is starting with c698 and if i go up so you see that we have this text note id and here the id is different because now each chunk or each node is having a different id they have a different information because they are not a single document anymore they are split into nodes and we can access these nodes one by one so what i can do here i can write here print nodes and i want to print the first node so i will write here first index and then get content get underscore content and then this one now here in the output you can see that so this is our first node and in this first node or first chunk so nodes or chunks are same so it says that the first of my friends to get microcomputer built it himself it was sold as a kitty by head kit i remember vividly how impressed and advised i felt watching him sitting in front of it typing programs right into the computer and so on so this is our first node if i copy this information or this code and if i print it here and instead of one if i write two here you see i will get a different uh, paragraph here all you had to do was teach shrblu more words so now our documents are split into nodes or chunk and each node or chunk have some different information as i have said earlier to get nodes we have different methods this is the one sentence splitter and here you have to pass a fixed chunk size you can give any number here there is also one more method semantic splitter node parser and the difference between the two is in semantic splitter node parser instead of chunking text with a fixed chunk size the splitter adaptively picks the breakpoint in between sentence using embedding and also it ensures that a chunk contains sentences that are semantically related to each other so that is a different one there you will need embedding model and i can also show you that one so for that first i will import from llama index dot code dot node parser import semantic semantic splitter node parser and then we will also need to use embeddings from hugging face so i will call here from llama index dot embeddings dot hugging face import hugging face embeddings and then i will create an object of this hugging face embedding i will write here embed underscore model is equal to hugging face embedding we will be using this embedding inside this semantic splitter node parser to create nodes and then i will create a splitter object so i will write a variable or i will create a variable splitter and then i will call semantic splitter node parser now inside this there are some parameters first i will write this parameters then i will explain you buffer size is 1 then we have breakpoint percentile threshold this is going to be 95 and then embedding model we will use this hugging face embedding so i will pass this one embed underscore model and that's it 
Now let's try to understand what this parameter means. So I have this official documentation here on this Llama index page. So here you will see the first parameter is buffer size. What it says buffer size is nothing but number of sentences to group together when evaluating semantic similarity. So it is how many sentences you want to group together when you want to decide whether these sentences are sem semantically similar or not. Then we have this embedding model. You can use any embedding here, OpenAI or Hugging Face. Since Hugging Face has a free embedding, so I am using this one. And then we have uh, this next parameter with this, which is breakpoint percentile threshold. So it says that at 95 percentiles, uh, we will break and I don't think that information is here that we will have to get it somewhere else on this documentation page but you don't have to worry about that now let us execute our code so we have this splitter object and then I can make a new variable semantic or oh, let me copy this here from here I will write this as semantic splitter node splitter underscore nodes let let's make it a different a little different nodes and then here I will call this splitter and from this I will call the method get nodes from documents we did similar things here also in this uh, sentence splitter also but the difference is that now we are not passing a fixed chunk size but instead of that we are passing this buffer size breakpoint percentile threshold and using a embedding model inside this I will pass our documents and then let us execute our code and then we can inspect our first node here so I will call this print statement print and then uh, this one but it is still executing so in the meantime I will just copy and paste it here and then we will look at the first node one then dot get underscore content and then we will print this once the execution is finished this is taking time because it is also using this embedding models let's wait for a few seconds so the execution is over and let me print this first node so this is our first node and in this we have information like the school districts 1401 happened to be in the basement of our junior high school and my friend and so on so you see that this is our first node and if I copy and paste this and I will put here two instead of one so this is the second node and we have a lot of information in the second node this is how you can create nodes out of this semantic splitter node parser and from the word semantic itself you can understand that the nodes are created based on the semantic similarity between sentences these are the two methods that we have compared here there are various other methods as well but these are two important ones and you see the difference between the two in one of them in this sentence splitter you define a fixed chunk size but in semantic splitter node parser you used an embedding models and even you don't have to define a fixed chunk size so that is the difference between the two you can use any one of them to see how nodes you are getting how good nodes you are getting and then you can uh, try to query your data using one of the LLM model and then you will see the difference in the results that you get when you create those queries I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.